Greetings and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the women's show where we dissect issues concerning women, their experiences, and the things that they've managed to accomplish through life. Today, we want to talk about, you know, Vote Women. Vote Women is a slogan from um, a program at Policy. And it looks at women leaders and how they've been able to leverage and navigate digital spaces. And I collected, I didn't collect, I was helped to bring back together a few of the ladies that had the advantage to go through our training on how to navigate the online spaces I, during the 2021 general election. We had a scientific election, but what did that mean for women? That is a conversation we're going to center on today. And I have three women who are going to help me have this conversation to look back three years later. What does, you know, our experience of digital platforms look like? Is it different? Is it better? And have we achieved something in three years? And to help me have this call, they're going to introduce themselves and I'll give them a moment. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to have you here. I think I have experienced the work Sharon is doing at the front of the labor export work. And I'm just happy to see what you guys are individually doing in your, in your networks. Okay. I'm going to give you a moment to introduce yourselves and then we dive into the conversation. I'll begin with you. Thank you, I'm Annette Nacha Njamaweje. I'm a district councillor to Wakiso District. I represent three ones in Wakiso. That is Chewando, Naluvle, and Nakabugo. And I'm also a leader in the Democratic Party, so I'm glad to be here. It's good to have you. Oh, thank you. I'll go to Winnie. Uh, hello, viewers. My name is Winnie Nandudu. I'm a councillor from Naguru One Parish, a foster. I always call myself a foster. This is my fourth mm -hmm. term. Mm -hmm. I'm also a leader in uh, NRM Party, mm -hmm. the Mighty Party. Thank you for hosting us. It's good to have you. Sure. Yeah, my Sharon Kemigisha mm -hmm. is my name. I'm really happy and honored to be hosted on this show. Honestly speaking, as leaders as and mm -hmm. as female leaders, we really need these spaces. Mm -hmm. So I'm really honored to be back again yet at that program. I know. Yes. And it's good to have you because the conversation on labor externalization cannot be had without a conversation of how the internet has helped us deal with it. And true, starting from here home, we, we, we all saw the campaign that went down at the airport. Mm -hmm. More of these and so many untold stories mm -hmm. that can only be exposed if we have spaces like mm -hmm. on the internet, because mm -hmm. it is the easiest way to spread information, mm -hmm. hence helping someone out there mm -hmm. that can't be helped. Yeah. And ladies, um, maybe to also begin, and I'll, and I'll begin with you, Annette. When we entered the 2021 election, the president declared something called scientific. Yeah. Campaigns. Campaigns. Yes. And so... We wondered what scientific campaigns really looks like, only to the imagination that it is that you will not go into the could into the masses and you will not campaign physically. Mm -hmm. Use the platforms available mm -hmm. on air, on the internet. Mm -hmm. And so it was a space women, whereas they were there, hadn't really experienced in the regard of power mm -hmm. and how to navigate it mm -hmm. and how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. How was that experience for you individually? Um, actually, it was really unfortunate that we had COVID-19 and we didn't have much options to yeah. take. Mm -hmm. So much as we didn't like it, we had to go for it. Mm -hmm. And we learned the hard way because many of us, especially here in Uganda, mm -hmm. were just getting acquainted to Facebook, WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had to learn the hard way. And we did learn because actually... We managed, we did have skills and uh, we used some of them. And uh, thank God, um, our voters also had to come on board, especially here in Kampala, uh, because they were really at it, following whatever is taking place and, mm -hmm. and reacting mm -hmm. and uh, following our candidates uh, from all over, you know, especially us who uh, subscribing political parties. Yeah. Uh, we could uh, voice our messages uh, using uh, mm -hmm. social media and uh, 
we saw some changes, mm -hmm. both positive and negative. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And then when you say negative, it really touches me because a lot of people imagine that everything, I know everything has a good and bad, but the experiences of women online have been quite different. Maybe Winnie, then you can come in there. When it comes to your experience, have there been moments where there have been a lot of negativity, misinformation, harassment online during that season of campaigning, but even post the campaigns, because you've got to stay present online. Sure, true. Mm. Uh, definitely. <laughs> it's a quite an interesting that uh, it's a real talk. Women, harassment, cyber mm -hmm. harassment is real. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at almost all these platforms we use, Personally, most of the platforms that I use, I use Facebook, I use WhatsApp, and uh, of course the SMSs and what. Mm -hmm. But in my campaigns, previous yeah. campaigns, I mainly used Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you'd find people attacking you personally, body-wise, someone would tell you, <laughs> your height, your age, your what, you know, like so many things. Huh? Mm -hmm. But uh, you manage through. Mm -hmm. It takes a courage, it takes mm -hmm. an experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, to go through it. Of course, I know very many women cannot handle because mm -hmm. of the different characters, mm -hmm. but it's real. It happens. Uh, this harassment actually also comes from fellow women. Eh? A woman mm -hmm. abuses you because of a nature, a body nature that you can even you cannot mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. You know, it's weird, but we handle. Mm -hmm. And I love sure. that you speak to resilience. Mm -hmm. yeah. To 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 be resilient enough to stay online because True. I think a lot of times the target is that. We target, we harass that you leave, yeah, you withdraw, so that you withdraw, mm. that you stop being in this space. Mm. And unfortunately, we can no longer ignore being online. Because the future is digital. Indeed. And, and maybe that is where you, you come in, Sharon. A lot of the work that you're doing, especially for the women that are doing, you know, external, that have been at the, at the forefront of external labor. And because that's also a lived experience for you, but as a as a as a political leader, as you you know continue to push, continue to explore how to help them, what have been your experiences with online presence and also the you know just the basic digital platform experience? Now my experience as Sharon, even before I became a, a leader. It is so exhausting. Mm -hmm. Whereby you find yourself you're in a position you would want to withdraw from social media, but you cannot because literally whatever you're doing needs to be, it, it needs to be posted. Mm -hmm. People need to know about mm -hmm. it because you're dealing with people who are not even in your location, like mm -hmm. people who are abroad, people mm -hmm. are beyond you. So mentally, it is exhausting. Yeah. So as my friend has said that you have to have that resilience heart, you have to stay, no matter what. You have to, I, I normally tell my friends that social media is not for the weak hearted. Mm -hmm. You have to have that strong heart to stay because someone would judge you because of the post for, as simple as a, as an as spirit, you mistype mm -hmm. and then someone attacks you from that angle. Mm -hmm. And then that person chooses to judge you because of that. It, like, it is really... Exhausting. So there's a level of policing yeah, <laughs> that sure. happens. Yeah. Then another thing, another bad experience that I have, despite of my political affiliation, mm -hmm. there are things that I would want to address. Yet there are general issues. Because issues. when you look at, I'll give an example of the labor externalization mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. You're trying to help someone who belongs to even another party that you're not subscribing yeah. to, yeah. but someone would literally judge you depending on your political affiliation. Mm -hmm. But when you want to bring up an issue of mm -hmm. a fellow woman mm -hmm. or a fellow Ugandan, mm -hmm. so really people tend to misjudge mm -hmm. people because of their post. And when it comes to a female gender, then it is worse. You would post something of your own, maybe a picture, you're out, you're doing what, and then someone judges you still in that angle. Mm. Simply because you're a leader, you're not supposed to say this, you're not supposed to have a comment on certain things, mm -hmm. you're a female, you're not supposed to mm -hmm. art articulate some issues because you're in a position of being a leader. So so as you, as you say that there are both good things and bad mm. things, mm. I think as female we've not possessed that bigger percentage when it comes to that digital space. Mm -hmm.
Interesting. And maybe to come in there, yeah. Anit, yes. when it comes to then dealing with your constituencies, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, checking in, mm -hmm. you know, advocating for them, mm -hmm. how have these, you know, online platforms been ideal mm -hmm. in making sure that you work? Yes. You know, as councillors, it's really very expensive for us to reach the electorate, mm -hmm. given the mega payments that we do yes. have. Yes. So it has helped us a lot. You can reach out to your constituents. Uh, you just create a, a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. I put a wow. few of them that are influential, mm -hmm. like um, the LCD does, mm -hmm. those that mm -hmm. you know can yes. reach out to yes. the general mm -hmm. public. Mm -hmm. And then you keep on informing them of whatever is taking place be it a government program, you mm. inform them, you get their feedback. So it has been a lot in save, done a lot in saving mm. uh, the costs of mm. reaching mm. out. Mm. And of course you do not um of course you do not have to be away from them. Mm. Once in a while you have to show up physically. Yes. Otherwise yes. they'll think yes. <laughs> you're hiding from them. Yes. Mm. So it has helped me a lot, even if I've not been to a particular area. Mm. When you go there your face is not new. You know, it's so ashamed after like five years. That is when you return. You return and mm. people say, Fetuba day in Uganda, they say, Ngo over de Tolavika. Mm. So at least mm. that mm. one is out. Mm -hmm. The face is being uh, seen. Yeah. Um, say Facebook or yes, WhatsApp. Yes, yes. What you've been saying. Even if you've been saying nothing, mm -hmm. but at least they've been seeing, they've been you, seeing and you. And there you have something to say. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, of course, lobbying for support. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, in my campaigns of 2021, I had a big budget and I did the lobby for, for my budgetary inputs mm -hmm. or using my Facebook and, yes. and WhatsApp. Yes. And people yes. could call, mm -hmm. I'm giving you posters, I'm giving you t shirts. Wow. So it helped a lot mm -hmm. in one way or another. Yeah. It did, mm -hmm. especially because you said something that is very important in how to, you know, keep the cause alive, mm -hmm. even when you're not there, mm -hmm. sure. that you've organized, you know, cahoots of people that can be able to sustain the work mm -hmm. on ground. Mm -hmm. So even if you're not on ground, mm -hmm. the work is being done. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I love that because, and it speaks to what I want to ask, a lot of times uh, political leaders end up you know, constantly staying online. Mm -hmm. And then the, 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 you know, the push is just online. There is no work offline. Mm -hmm. And so you, it's the imagination that people are, are seeing what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're talking about issues. Mm -hmm. How important is it mm -hmm. to get, you know, these political events, this awareness from online spaces into offline spaces, into the real community, mm -hmm. to make sure the work online is also seen offline. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, one thing that I must carry on from my sister, Annette, mm -hmm. is there's surely no reason for you not to be on ground anymore. With this digital mm -hmm. era, no. Even as mothers, personally, I'm, uh, I just have a six months. And you can't say I was in maternity, <laughs> maternity leave. leave. Maternity leave, no. So if in maternity leave, the phone is not on maternity mm -hmm. leave. Mm -hmm. You keep communicating to your people, updating them on what is happening, uh, making calls on where they need to be, basically passing information to them. So we can't step out. There are no more excuses, surely. So uh, this program, uh, being digitalized, keeps us directly in touch with our people. You can't stay away from them. That's interesting. Sure. You really surely can't stay away. Uh, maybe let's go back to challenges. Sure. And a lot of times when we speak of challenges, it's the imagination that everyone experiences online and digital platform challenges different. Mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. What Sharon may go through certainly is not what Annette will yeah. go through. Mm -hmm. But when we look at... Um, you know, the challenge is not just for political leaders, but also for women. Mm. You know, how can we then navigate them? Mm. And maybe that is why I want to bring you. A lot of times, there are women whose experiences online cannot even be repeated in public. True. But with the absence of where to report, you've mm. got to deal with it yourself. Mm. So how do we, you know, how do we deal with the challenges women face online? Or maybe even what are these challenges? Because there are a lot of people that may not know mm -hmm. that's okay. problematic. Sure. Yeah. So maybe that is where you can come in. Now, I want to first give a credit to Policy Uganda. Because mm -hmm. I think 
if I'm not mistaken, it's mm. one of one of the organizations that have really come out strongly yeah. to mm -hmm. demand for the rights of the women on, on, online. On, 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 on. So if we keep on seeing organizations like policy coming up, as we fought so hard women to have these spaces, mm -hmm. cause mm -hmm. gone are the times mm -hmm. whereby women could come out and have platforms like yeah. this. Yeah. So the more voices that it is normal, we have to fight for the rights online cause mm -hmm. we are not doing away with digital. Yes. As time goes on, it is going to be like, we need these safe spaces mm -hmm. where we can report, yeah. where you can run to, because people are suffering silently. Mm -hmm. When you look at the mental breakdown that people are battling with right now, mm -hmm. some of them are generating from their phones, mm -hmm. from the online mm -hmm. spaces yes, that yes, they engage into, mm -hmm. knowing or unknowingly. Mm -hmm. Thank God that as as we are seated here we've yes. gotten a chance of knowing that someone can bully you online and then mm. you have ways of either sharing it with your friend mm. so so and so came into my inbox and said this how can i deal with it but mm. there there are young women out there that don't know even who to approach so i think with the help of different organization advocating and amplifying voices mm. of mm. such spaces yeah. we are going to be able to capture some of the challenges and deal with it because mm -hmm. you can't you can't say that you're going to deal with a challenge without stakeholders mm -hmm. that are going to help you mm -hmm. if it is uh, an attack mentally where you can go with in spaces where counselors are, are to help you go through what yeah. you're going yeah. through so i'm just calling upon all those that are responsible or are well wishers mm -hmm. like policy came mm -hmm. out to come and bridge that gap mm -hmm. indeed and maybe and then, if i can add yes. on something because mm -hmm. we're talking about the challenges that yes. we face as women mm -hmm. uh, of course generally women have low education compared to our counterparts the male yeah so you find that our digital skills are a bit limited uh very many women have phones but they cannot even use yes. uh the other skills mm -hmm. yeah? how do i even respond or limit or mm -hmm. You know, all card. they know is mm -hmm. to receive a call mm -hmm. and maybe an SMS and what, but the other extra mm -hmm. skills that are needed are not there. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, we are all human beings, but our time is all the same with the men. True. But if you look at a woman, is a wife, is a mother, mm -hmm. has from work, we all go out with my husband to go and work. Mm -hmm. But I have to make sure I come back, do the mm -hmm. cooking, uh, yeah. I have to do the home chores, mm -hmm. talk about homework. <laughs> My children do homework, mm -hmm. bring homework every day. Mm -hmm. And I have to attend to that. Mm -hmm. So you find that our ch time with the men is really restrictive. Besides mm -hmm. the general ones of being bullied on the short time yeah. you get back yeah. online and yeah. what. Yeah. So we cannot favorably compete with mm -hmm. our men yeah. in that space. Mm -hmm. It's quite a big challenge, I must confess. Mm -hmm. Indeed. But then how do we, uh, maybe as well, Anet, mm. you could give us the challenges that mm -hmm. you've experienced. I know there are a lot of gender biases yes. online, mm. given the fact that a lot of the experiences we have online are a reflection of what we've experienced offline, mm. offline yeah. in our physical mm. life. Mm. So what has been your experience mm. or if for experience of the women that mm. you serve? Mm. Mm. Of course, yeah. I know that the men always look down upon women, especially they think politics is a male world. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. maybe it is, but we are trying to push in. And um, most of these bullies are male. Mm -hmm. And they capitalize on, uh, of course, uh, they are paid most of the time. You find it's the, the people who abuse women online are basically given data to do that all day. Mm -hmm. And most of them are idle. And um, they'll do that very, very uh, professionally. And I think uh, how to calm this down is, of course, we need to build allies as women. Mm -hmm. As they create these uh, uh, bloggers, we mm -hmm. also need to get our own mm -hmm. to be online. Mm -hmm. If it means giving them some data, let's yes. do that. Because mm -hmm. if the male can do it very well, we can also do it. Mm -hmm. what, what men can do, can women also, can uh, do better. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> I've also experienced, like my colleague says, that um, the multiple roles that women have really mm -hmm. hinder us. Even if you are to react, keep on reacting, it will require you to spend more time online and yet you have other roles. Yeah, yeah. So what do you do to curb that? 
sometimes you need to ignore some of these thoughts and focus mm -hmm. on why you are mm -hmm. in that space. Mm -hmm. If you come, uh, if you throw stones to every barking dog, then you might lose focus. The purpose That's is lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've seen some some women who just appear online to communicate important issues and they leave the bloggers, the business, they leave them for quite some time mm -hmm. and they'll be focused until these people give up whatever mm -hmm. they are trying to come mm -hmm. up with. Mm -hmm. They give up eventually. Mm -hmm. So that's also another detoxifier, if, you, if I would like to, to call it that. Mm -hmm. uh, focus on what uh, you want to stand for. Much as we've seen many women give up, some, some bloggers will tell you never come back. Someone told me, please, don't come back to this constituency. <laughs> wow. Online, they told me, make sure you don't come back here, otherwise you face it rough. Wow. So if someone is not strong enough, as we talked about resilience, mm -hmm. they'll just keep, give up and say, now this politics, I'm giving up. I am done. Yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You have to uh, say build this network and of course uh, you have to seek counsel of your seniors because whatever you're facing, they have gone through before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. So you have to, to have someone who is your kind of mentor and share with them whatever you're going through. Mm -hmm. These people are doing this, what should I do? And they'll mm -hmm. give you good advice. And then and, and I hear you. Mm -hmm. I think one example that came to my mind as you were sharing was mm -hmm. for Honor Bonabida Sempala. Mm -hmm. And right after her desire to stand for Lord Mayor, a lot of the backlash mm -hmm. she got online True. was mm -hmm. testament to her absence today. True. And today, if you look mm. in the you know online spaces, you will not find Honor. Yeah. Lately, yeah. lately mm. he does Twitter rather TikTok live, TikTok lives. but not in this, like not in the political space. The last mm. video I saw her speak about was still on labor externalization, mm. talking about the lives of the women that mm -hmm. go to work as maids. Mm -hmm. So I think at times people attack people. And they go beyond to a point of even accusing someone, attacking someone mm -hmm. on a personal level. Mm -hmm. For God's sake, a lot of things happen mm -hmm. behind, your, behind closed yeah, door. Yeah, if they had yeah. misunderstandings yeah. with her husband, there are things as women that she couldn't come out to expose. Yeah. And that shouldn't and define yes, us yes, in our political like, experiences. We are, we are in a generation whereby someone pushes you to the wall to even, even say the unsaved things that mm -hmm. you would want mm -hmm. to to let out to the world yes. and the world have yeah. your side. Yeah. But there is a saying in Luganda that normally says, whenever you explain, then you're spoiling. Mm -hmm. So some people just yeah. choose to keep quiet. And I think that is what she did. Because mm -hmm. if imagine if she was bringing words and then the sides brings, what would happen? Yeah. But Trisha, okay. I want to bring in something. It's mm. not always that okay that we should always keep quiet about mm. the negative part. That's true. Because mm. sometimes there are times you attack me physically and I'll also respond and according to the tone you give brooding. me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. At times, for example, if it's about my body nature, you tell me maybe yeah. you should think. You know, I'm short. Mm. I'm not going to grow tall. Mm. So one of the ways is to mm. appreciate. I'm like, okay, besides my shortness, I can else? do this. I, 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 I pride in the, my shortness because mm. it's nature. You're not going to change me. Mm -hmm. okay? Someone will attack your legs and you're like, oh, toothpick legs, what? And I'm like, okay, I love my toothpick legs. And you know, <laughs> yeah? but I want to share something. Um, during my campaigns, I would be attacked in my inbox, even online or out of the inbox. Yeah. And yeah. Someone would even go an extra to also attack my husband. Wow. wow. And you know, you're like, <laughs> so the man comes and he's like, but you mean, your things, your things, because for him, he's a different mech. He's mm -hmm. like, but why, you know, why even in that thing? Mm -hmm. You know, what has it got to do with me being in politics mm -hmm. to serve you? Mm -hmm. So at times it goes extra, yeah. but you need to know how to deal with the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you do not block them, mm -hmm. attack them, sometimes it may not be you, but like Annette said, mm -hmm. Have other people to respond to attack, mm, yes. to respond to such people. Yeah, surely. And another, another maybe uh, just a small thing. Uh, just recent, last this very week, we have one WhatsApp group where uh, one of a, co a colleague came up and was attacking all leaders apart from two praising two and saying and a very bad word about other the person. others. Mm. So when one came out, was like, we know you're very pregnant. Why don't you do this? And I'm like, okay. Now, you want to 
bring the issue of pregnancy to stop her from the qualitative debate mm-hmm. that is going on. Mm-hmm. You know, it's weird. That person no attack, attack on, on the person. That person attack mm-hmm. on a person mm-hmm. that is being pregnant. Someone is not under age. Mm-hmm. She's above age and you want to, to make her shut up because of what? Mm-hmm. A pregnancy. pregnancy, which is normal anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's I weird. You. And, and maybe an, another challenge that we normally shy away from sharing to the public Mm -hmm. you know when you're in these digital spaces men have a tendency of hitting the dm for the women simply because they see us as we are too available and so they objectify you not Mm. live along by being you Mm. as if you're online for no reason Mm. someone hits hits your dm you know i'm here for this and this and this for God's sake, you don't. For God's sake, you don't know me physically. Mm-hmm. Where do you get the guts of vibing me online? No, a total it. stranger. Mm-hmm. So I think if you're known to that forecast, a lot of it. young women have fallen into trap through mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Without knowing someone, a total stranger comes to your inbox, then starts vibing you. The next day you're meeting this person without even knowing them. If that person has ill intentions what mm. next mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. young women who are willing to join these spaces for advocacy for their political career for their whatever career you're mm-hmm. following up mm-hmm. and you you only have to join that mm-hmm. digital spaces you just have to be careful be focused no reason as to why you're joining this different platform whatever platform that you're planning to use because people who are willing to take advantage in that line are also waiting for you interesting and and, and and i love that you say for all young women because digital literacy is a conversation a lot of people have not yet appreciated to have Mm -hmm. and when you talk about a program like vote women for policy the digital leadership Mm -hmm. you know curriculum it's the imagination that Mm -hmm. it is a select few Mm -hmm. so how do we you know create rapport effect for Mm -hmm. such a program or for such an initiative Mm -hmm. that they are their leaders the women leaders that have gotten this you know they've been empowered Mm -hmm. to know what these spaces really Mm -hmm. look like Mm -hmm. how do we you know have this ripple effect for other young women Mm -hmm. i think that speaks to mentorship Mm -hmm. how are you using these kind of experiences to mentor other young women Mm. in being able to you know use their online platforms Mm. to advocate for themselves oh i i share with them of Mm. course when i'm I get some training and I know I have a skill which they don't have. Yeah. I'll always use the opportunity I have to mm-hmm. share with these women. Mm-hmm. I'll give you an example. In my council, mm-hmm. recent, people were like two different ladies who were just against each other for a whole day. Okay. They were hiring insults and one was choosing another that uh, she's a uh, a homosexual mm-hmm. uh, supporter and then uh, she was insisting mm-hmm. and uh, um, when I listened for some time, of course, I was like, should I call these ladies and talk to them? But I said, no. Okay. Why don't I just give them one of the skills mm-hmm. I, I got from what women? I, mm-hmm. I told, I posted something telling them that, you know what? We have a law. Eh? If you really have, you don't have evidence, someone can take you to court. Huh? And, uh, and uh, of course, this lady who was uh, on top of the game mm-hmm. just pulled back. And then she came to my inbox and said, oh, I didn't know about this. I think I, wow. uh, I've been making a big mistake. Mm-hmm. Because she was even posting the pictures of the other one. And uh, wow. because uh, that's and defamation. Yes, defamation. It was yes. too much. Yeah. So whichever for us that we have, mm-hmm. we do pass on. Even to the grassroots women, we tell mm-hmm. them, you know what? Mm-hmm. The good and bad in this. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that is how we can work together with both women to mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. to scale up the program. Indeed, mm-hmm. maybe to to bring you in, Winnie, especially on on online gender based violence. Mm-hmm. It's an experience I think all of us it, we can you know rightly say even the girl that is on the camera, the lady that is on the camera, that there's a lot of online based violence, mm-hmm. and it's certainly not just. Uh, a one-off, it's targeted. Sure. How, especially for young women, and I'm really worried because they're the future <coughs> leaders, they're the ones we are, you know, shaping up for the next job. Mm. How has your experience in your constituency been like in dealing with cases of online gender-based violence outside mm. the physical ones? Um, you know, gender, especially 
with married people, mm. it takes two to understand each other. Otherwise, it can end up even causing the two of you to separate. Yeah. So you need to have an understanding husband. If you're very open to him, mm. he, he understands. Mm. Now, like my husband, I thank God, he has at some point moved with me even during campaigns. Mm. So when they're insulting mm. me physically, he, when you see some he of these seems. things online, they're not... Mm. But very mm. few of our husbands, I'm sure, mm. engage. Mm. Some of them just mm. see after effects. Mm. Um, but uh, how you engage, how you manage, is if you have a, a page, the people who separate uh, Account. personal accounts mm. and then the public. Oh, wow. So it's not mm. that everything... Personally, I don't have a political and a, I have mm -hmm. one account, mm -hmm. but I restrict. I'll say this is for pri the privacy, this is for public, this is for personal. There mm -hmm. are things I keep there and they're only for me as an individual. Mm -hmm. Then that is one of the ways I manage. Secondly, how do you conduct yourself? Mm -hmm. If you're going to mix up as a leader, there are things you're not supposed to always do. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to be out with my family and I put it, the poor are going to say, oh, you're mm -hmm. You know, they imagine everything mm -hmm. you do as family. Mm -hmm. It's because it's of okay. them that you are, which is not mm -hmm. usually the case because mm -hmm. it's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. It's a service. Mm -hmm. So you need to create a balance. Study your audience. Know what your audience is, how to manage them, mm -hmm. and what you give them. It's not that every content... You, you throw give. back to them. Mm. Otherwise, if you're everything to them, then be ready to contain. Mm. Judge. How do you mm. handle? Mm -hmm. I think I those are the few you. basics. Sure. Yeah, I hear you. Sure. Yeah, on, on that case, I'll, I'll not go far from what she has said. I think we all choose the journey of works, or sure. God literally chooses mm -hmm. where we, the path of our of our journey. So we literally have to choose what to post, regardless yeah. of the career that mm -hmm. you're following. Mm -hmm. There are things that we do as people that would you wouldn't want to find it either on any social media because mm -hmm. anything that you post, then you're not in control of it. Mm -hmm. You're either ready to justify why you posted it or you're ready for people to judge on how they have pursued it. Mm. So we just have to limit ourselves. Then another thing that I would want to, to add on what she said back then, that we need to grow that habit of, of, of creating our own support system mm. online. Mm. Mm -hmm. There are things that hit you as a leader, mm whereby you wouldn't want either your account, your own, your name to be mentioned in a way of defending yourself, but you need those cheerleaders out mm. there to say, no, you're saying this, you're having a long information about our leader. It is such and such in an event that she, she meant this. So we need to have that, that support system, either through us, the leaders, or we have a team of social media handlers, handlers. that will mm. help us out there. So the more we utilize these spaces, the more we are going to achieve or conquer the spaces as women. And, and you really said something important. I think it pushes me on how to, you know, build an online presence, you know, something that yeah. works. Mm. And it reminded me, I think, three or four weeks back, a month or so back, the MP whose account, Twitter account, had been hacked in and there was all this gibberish yeah. happening. Mm. And I'm like, wow, who manages his digital security? Mm. How has he, you know, positioned himself to come back from such an experience? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as as women leaders especially, how are you, you know, creating, you know, online presence that counts? Mm -hmm. Especially that can help you in your different constituencies that you're in. Okay. Um, of course, uh, as a leader, you have also to be mindful of uh, what others post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are some leaders who are very selfish in mm -hmm. that they come online only to post whatever is concerning them mm -hmm. and they will not comment about anything, anything else. else so it's a give and take mm -hmm. if someone doesn't value you they will not care if someone posts anything wrong about you they'll not respond mm -hmm. so that kind of relationship that you build over time also is there mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. you have to have allies online even if you don't know them they mm -hmm. have to value mm -hmm. you as long as you also value, value them, them. So that is a kind of a relationship that grows over time mm -hmm. that uh, some people become darlings mm -hmm. for others mm -hmm. that they have even never met. And we need also to build I think it, it depends on the yeah. content mm -hmm. that they yes. share. Because mm -hmm. I'm the recent victim. Mm -hmm. my, my Facebook account was hacked. Mm -hmm. 
unfortunately, because mm. this is something that I'm emotionally talking about mm. it because this is an account that I've been with, I think, from 2016, 2016, And so the following is big. Yeah, the following is big. And then the accounts that have been, the Facebook pages that have been operating there. But this is what happened. Mm. Like when they hacked it, they took it and then this, the person that took it, I don't know if he he ex he or she exchanged it mm. to mm. a certain person who happens to be a a, a colonial or someone. Mm. He's a white mm. guy, mm. and this person keeps on posting things that are not even related to the to my personality. The person you. Mm. And then people keep they keep on calling me, but when I told them that the account was hacked, I, I literally I was giving up on Facebook. But they told me no. Open up an account. We are going to tag and in and report. inform others that mm. the former one was hacked, mm. and that brings me to telling you that we we need to be mindful of the content that we share because every single thing that you post, people are following, and they would literally identify you mm. from the posts that you make, from the argument and discussion that you engage in. So in case of anything different seen on your page, mm -hmm. they will react. So it's a, so it makes making a clear brand. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. personal mm -hmm. brand mm -hmm. online. Let your brand, mm -hmm. the brand that you are outside or offline, mm -hmm. let it be the brand that you post. Mm -hmm. let, let it be the people, what you want people to pursue in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. The yeah, following, uh, the, yes, the consistency in yeah. branding, mm -hmm. but then also how do you, um, because followers also mm -hmm. follow because of what you, yeah. the, the content, yes. mm -hmm. so how do you niche around as a woman leader mm -hmm. saying, for me, my issues are women and girls, mm -hmm. and on a consistent basis, mm -hmm. that will be, you know, my advocacy point. Yes, you have to take interest in whatever is happening in that area. Of women and girls. Mm -hmm. If it's a current issue that is happening all over yeah. uh, that affects the women, you need to comment about mm -hmm. it. You need to research mm -hmm. and be up to date with information. Yeah. And um, of course, that makes you present. <coughs> uh, I mean, you have to be useful yeah? to add value in whatever mm -hmm. you, you think your brand is. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. Mm -hmm. if you are communicating something off topic, uh, people don't take you seriously. So you know yeah, yeah. yeah. So I never know what's going on in this country. <laughs> like, always yes. like you can't be, you can't address each and every issue around yes. other yeah. girls. Yeah. You just need to to specialize in one sector. Because yeah. I remember, I'm not saying that I'm not concerned about yeah. issues yeah. that yeah. affect men, mm -hmm. but even in our council, mm -hmm. they don't mean as someone who literally would say anything or argue about something concerning women and girls. And to a point so. that we had, mm. if you can remember the competition, the inter councillor competition, mm. whereby they had to to give the guys the cow, and mm. then women, they had to give us the goat. And the then goat. I was like, no, mm. we are all equal. Mm. The same effort the guys are going to we give in. Yeah. It's put the in. same effort that we have mm. to put in. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe to come into it, um, we look to the future. A lot of the work that we are doing in online advocacy is that we are building for the future. Mm. So how how do we, and maybe it might not even be an answer you have really, mm. and if you do, it is an answer we can always build on. Mm. But how do we, you know, start to, especially as women, advocate for safer online spaces <coughs> for ourselves? Mm. How do we first advocate for ourselves that we do, we, we create safe online spaces? Uh, thank you uh, once again. Uh, like I said earlier, having skills is very crucial. Mm -hmm. To have skills, you don't have to go to school and study ICT and what. Mm -hmm. Have the skills. If you're equipped, like Anne said, how are you helping other people? Which is one way of helping the future ladies. Yeah. Can you sit down and tell a lady who keeps on maybe analogued? Can you tell them this is how, get in your phone, this is how you can open up an, a WhatsApp account? Can you create a community group from that? Mm -hmm. You're adding value to that woman. She has not gone to school. It just takes you sitting and explaining. Uh, sharing experience is one way we can also mentor them. For those who are broken down, mm -hmm. preach to them that it's not all about each time there is a negativity that you should shun. How do you contain? How do you manage? 
those restrictions yeah. that can be done is part also uh, i think also partly oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. part of the skills that you should be getting so i the other thing that i should also emphasize is let women make money yeah if you make money, yeah. you'll not cry of data. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll not cry of not having a smartphone. Mm -hmm. These days, smartphones are cheap. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run to a neighbor to get a smartphone. Mm -hmm. So women make money, make money. Our husbands love it when we, there is money in the house mm -hmm. and love mm -hmm. jewels true. when there is money. True. I guess true. everyone believed that. Mm -hmm. So let us make the money. Let's, let us get the skills. Let us encourage and mentor mm -hmm. our other women yeah. Yeah. to yeah. get on board because mm -hmm. Digital is the way to go these days. Mm -hmm. You're in the market, you have to sell your goods online. Eh? The people sit back and they just call and say, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. You have to send it online. Mm -hmm. the way we are going. So you don't have to sit back anyway. Surely. If, if, in addition of what she has said, mm -hmm. there is a way uninformed women, women look beautiful. So try, we need to... to literally, we need to be informed. Mm -hmm. Anything, even if you're not going to use that that information, that, that, information. that you are acquiring it, uh, immediately, mm -hmm. but have it anyway. Mm -hmm. There is a, there is information. Yeah? There is mm -hmm. a beauty that it adds on a woman if you're mm -hmm. informed. Mm -hmm. Take an example: if you're in a space of people and they are discussing about something, and then you, you're you're green and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to be informed, and the easiest way to acquire information, useful information, mm -hmm. is staying on online. Online, mm -hmm. yeah. is a village of information. It, yeah. There's a Very lot updating. of things. Mm -hmm. People are crying all over that. Recently, the vendors are not allowed on the streets, mm -hmm. but you can. There is a lot of things that you can use with your phone. Mm -hmm. You sit in your kazigo, mm -hmm. you do your products, the handcrafts, and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. Take pictures of them. Sure. When you, sure. you've branded yourself that Mama Naka sells this mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. there is a way that you're going to even reach those people that you never thought that you're going mm -hmm. to reach. Mm -hmm. I'm a very I'm a living test point of online marketing and branding because mm -hmm. I started my online advocacy when I was in Chiyumba because mm -hmm. I've had the experience mm -hmm. of working as For a those maid. Don't know Chiyumba is, <laughs> yes. is in Arab. Mm -hmm. I, I, thank, I thank God that I it was also another life experience that mm. had to position me where I am right now. I've met people that I never thought that I would meet in mm. life, mm. despite of my, my humble background, because yeah. I'm a born and raised product of ghetto. Mm. I've grown mm. up in Katanga, mm. but right now, I know it is a bit challenging to keep the image that people see in mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. but... I didn't have those helping hands yeah. from the yeah. well of families, mm. but mm. all in the name of I had I knew it was a turning point for me. The Wi-Fi of the Arab bosses that I had brought, a brought me change. to where I mm. am right now. Mm. There are organizations, there are people that literally would see what I'm doing online, mm -hmm. hit my DM bring me on a project that is actually how i got to meet the people that work with policy mm -hmm. to get where i am right now and so yeah, there yeah. is a lot of things that we you can harvest mm -hmm. from online that mm -hmm. you wouldn't harvest mm -hmm. when you're not and of course this it conversation is very, for yeah. us yeah. <laughs> very interesting mm -hmm. because um, we've talked about all the good things and the yeah. bad things but um we may need to balance the online oh, yeah. um, yeah. Yeah. balancing mm -hmm. You know, sometimes when you're busy at home, like on weekends, and you're moving your phone to the kitchen, to the bathroom, yeah, place the phone, yeah. <laughs> and then you're chatting. <laughs> of course, you don't want to miss a point there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there are other roles that you're supposed to do as a woman that don't require you to be on the phone 24-7. Yes. Yes. Our husbands complain, our marriages are dying because of the phone. <laughs> So my advice to the women, Balancing, is, yes. please, let's balance the mm. presence we have on phone with other roles. We need to go to church. Mm. We need to be in these meetings physically. Mm. So if we are online all the time, somewhere, somewhere. Life outside is, going, is yeah. suffering. It's not yeah. end in itself. Otherwise, it's good. Um, me, as I'm sitting here, I have uh, my women leaders, you know, uh, if you are leading a constituency, mm. there are village leaders, mm. eh? so you collect them in groups and then you tell them what to do online and they'll go and do the work mm. for you. Mm. Uh, so somehow you're working on phone, mm. but at the same time, 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. But you then we have also to budget for mm. it. Mm. It takes a lot of our money as well. Mm. Mm. So, you know, that data, the way you we spend <laughs> on data unknowingly, yeah. Yeah. at the yeah, end yeah, of yeah, that day, true. you may not know how much has gone mm. there. So you have to plan and go for the like, cheaper bundles mm. and, uh, of course, and not be a product. Because at the end of that day, that you you be asked for accountability <laughs> from your husband, your counselor, nothing comes up uh, from you, mm. but uh, you spent all the money mm. on the phone. Uh, yeah. and of course, and that, then, that's one of the challenges. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. That's where the digital mm. literacy is important. Mm. We need digital literacy on how we spend our time online. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much for yeah. having this conversation mm. with me. And I hope there is one woman that has been, you know, blessed or, you know, empowered mm. to understand online spaces from this conversation. Sure. So thank you so much for mm. sparing your time sure. in your busy to come mm. here. Mm. Don't go away. Let's come back after this break. Digital rights are those human rights and legal rights that allow individuals to access, use, create and publish digital media or to access and use computers, other electronic devices and telecommunication networks. Digital rights include a right to freedom of expression, information and communication through technology, a right to privacy and data protection, a right to credit for personal works, a right to universal and equal digital access, a right to identity, a right to anonymity, a right to be forgotten and a right for protection of minors among others. The state's digital rights are frequently violated through various unfair actions, for example, blockage of websites and social networks, theft of credentials, unauthorized use of people's data for personal gain, privacy intrusion, online censorship, arrests and intimidation of online users, internet blockages, and a proliferation of laws and regulations that undermine the potential of technology to drive social, economic, and political development worldwide. It is hence every citizen's responsibility to respect rights of other digital users and to speak out or report to the responsible parties when one's rights are violated. Welcome back. I hope you've grabbed you know, a cup of water and then come back and we have this conversation. So when we ended, we were really talking about how, how, how we are advocating for others, but then also how we are using the knowledge that we have to better other women. Mm. But going forward, there is a lot of work to be done. And I don't know how it's happening in your different constituencies. Yeah. But, you know, how then can we leverage these online spaces and these online platforms mm -hmm. to better not just ourselves, but also the women that we serve and also the young women that are aspiring to be in these spaces. I'll begin with you, Sharon, especially because of the work that you're doing right now. So how do we make use of these online platforms, these digital tools, you know, to advocate differently for women? In my own perspective, I think we should use each and every platform that we get, being that being physical, the mainstream media. Mm -hmm. If at all you get a chance of being on radio, let us advocate and mm -hmm. talk more. We, we, let us try to make people have that lens of mm -hmm. possessing the online rights and mm -hmm. on, uh, online information yeah, yeah, in yeah. that we are either we are inspiring mm -hmm. and equipping these young women and the young generation with the the importance of being online yes. the values because mm -hmm. trust me or not that that the future is digital mm -hmm. there is no way that we are going to do without having these digital online platforms, platforms. so mm -hmm. Uh, um, my 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 humble request will go to everyone that is a peacemaker. Anyone, you don't need to be a political leader to be yes. a leader. Yes. Those people who do career guidances mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. schools, if you get a chance of be in a gathering of mm -hmm. young generation mm -hmm. or people that are not in the know of the values and the importance of the media yeah, and the yeah, online yeah, yeah, yeah. presence, mm -hmm. let, let them be informed. Some people are not there simply because they don't know. That is true. But if you get information mm. of knowing the good, the value, the what, mm. you're enticing someone to join. Make that 
person that you've met, we can literally start with friends. Mm -hmm. There are apps that I have that she doesn't have mm -hmm. or any yeah, other yeah, counselor. Yeah, yeah. For example, in council, there are people that don't, don't even have a Twitter account. Twitter account mm -hmm. And this person is a leader. Mm -hmm. Maybe he or she doesn't know the power of sharing of, information mm -hmm. or owning a Twitter mm -hmm. handle account. So. Mm -hmm. We just need to share what we know to people. Mm -hmm. In one way or another, we are inspiring that person to join. Yeah. And uh, when you said that, I remember that in the Amplified Abuse report, there were more women using Facebook than Twitter. Oh, Actually, true. more leaders were using sure. Facebook than Twitter. Yeah. But let's pick on digital rights, especially for women. Yeah. How do we, going forward, help women understand what their digital rights really look like? But then also, Capped with access, mm. how do we push for access mm. together with digital rights? Um, one thing I must uh, point out, like I said before, mm. the skills are very important. Yeah. And how you brand yourself determines so much. Mm. Like we pointed out, very many women fear using online platforms because they feel it's Don't an exposure, attacked. exposing your personality, your mm. family life. Mm. But... There are very many uh, goods about being online. Yeah. And like we pointed them before. Yeah. So it's important that women appreciate it's less Progress. less costly, less hectic. It's uh, There is a way you create rapport with mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. uh, as if you're conversing directly with someone. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to come physically in a meeting and address so many people mm -hmm. and then maybe not give them so much attention to respond to what. But when you're online, for example, someone will ask you something, you respond directly. Maybe they get to your inbox and that kind of thing. So it's broad. How you market it, how you, you, the content you put there will really push you forward. And of course, how you manage your work. Then one thing also, uh, Trisha, that I think is important. We need support of our men. Yeah. We cannot do without them in community. Because... Yeah. For everything we believe, there must be they must be part of the success journey mm. for us women. So we need them to be inclusive, to support the women. Uh, personally, I didn't know how to. I had issues uh, getting into a Zoom account and mm -hmm. what. My husband helped me to what? Not because I'm not going to school, mm. but he helped me to put it on. Yeah? So they can help us in one way or the other. Don't shy away. Let us support our women because a better woman is a better mom, a better mother, a better nation. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's what sure. I can say. Sure. And maybe just out of curiosity, because as you were sharing, I imagined, you know, a lot of the struggle women have had has been with physical abuse and physical mm -hmm. harassment. Sure. Is the experience quite thin online mm. and hear me out because with the physical and a lot of the boys clubs that happen in the political journey mm. the meetings happen at night mm. you know then they'll meet over a drink mm. and so the safety during those hours mm. for women particularly yeah. is mm. quite hard mm. and then i imagine is it possible that online spaces then provide a better sana experience safer, safer space. exactly and and that is a question i'm grappling with are the experiences for women leaders especially in campaigning and advocating much better mm. with less physical um, interactions or they are still the same now personally i think um somehow there is a difference for example i personally use so much conference calling mm -hmm. I don't have to be physical. Mm. You'll engage, you'll know he's online, you'll know how to interact and what, other than physically being maybe in a far place mm -hmm. where I have to spend a lot of transport, maybe it's at night and my security as a person is not Compromise. safe. Mm. So I think it does, some of these platforms surely, how? if taken into diagnosis, they're mm. better mm -hmm. than being physical. Mm -hmm. And so that experience changes. Sure. Yeah. With each. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm coming back to you, yes. Annette. Um, a lot of the knowledge we have has been shared from people that have cared to say, look, mm. we need digital literacy. Mm. You know, organizations like Policy who are at the forefront of, you know, tech and digital safety, mm. safety for women using feminist lensing mm. are saying, 
this is a conversation. We need to decolonize the internet, mm -hmm. but then also we need to make the internet safe for women. Yeah. Constantly, as we see the laws happen, mm -hmm. we need to see that there is a lens where women have been put. Mm -hmm. Are we looking at a future where it's possible for women, you know, to be online mm -hmm. and be safe? Um, I would say it might not happen, like might not Completely. happen hundred mm -hmm. percent, mm -hmm. but the situation may change with advocacy, mm -hmm. uh, with the training, mm -hmm. skilling, like mm -hmm. uh, what women is giving us different skills of handling, uh, getting uh, online safety. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so if we keep on uh, learning. Mm -hmm. Uh, how to to safeguard ourselves mm -hmm. uh, we may be able to get what we want mm -hmm. but we need to be at a lookout because you know life is changing but we, we have to be mindful that politics this online um, uh, digital spaces are only helping us to to fulfill our mandate as politicians yes, yes, yes. so we need to keep evaluating ourselves if you are doing it for some time and then you need to to make a break and say, how has it helped me over mm. time? Is it helping or is it just pulling mm. me down? And if you see it's not working for you, you yes. need to, to get other options. options. Yeah. Mm. I know that, of course, when uh, I compare ourselves with the East African countries, mm. Mm. I, I don't say, of course, but some of them are, are just far apart, yes. like above. Yes. Eh? Yes. They have uh, really mastered these uh, spaces, mm. Mm. including sure. the electorate. But if we consider our electorate and the level at which they grasp and change and what mm -hmm. they value, mm -hmm. then we need, sometimes we need to evaluate and then we need to get what really um, is good for, the is good for them, mm -hmm. not just come up with something that not work out. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example of market women. Yeah. Yeah. If I have a big population of my mm -hmm. voters who are in the market, eh, are like 12 hours mm -hmm. of a day, mm -hmm. Then even if I'm online all the time, I'll not get their attention. You'll miss their attention. I need to go there. I need to talk mm. to them physically. I need to sit with them and then mm. I, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Mm. And then maybe also, because I know there are people who are creating apps to support market women. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the idea that that would be also an entry point mm -hmm. in helping them get mm. online yeah. presence mm. for their goods. Mm. Maybe to continue work, but they'll be like, hmm. Mm. Councillor Annette helped us with yes. this app yes. and she has taught us how to use it. Yes, sure. In, in addition to that, I think all in all, as we are amplifying our voices in two women occupying the online presence, we need to literally study the audience. Because if we are, if we are talking about the digital spaces, we are not talking about Facebook only mm -hmm. or Twitter only. Those yeah. are social yeah. media, mm -hmm. whatever. But Platform we are looking at the online apps that uh, have the impact of we are seeing banks mm. using online yes. like you can control mm. yes. your finances On online your mm. you can purchase you can sell mm. so whereby you say that if if your audience or your electorates are women Market, mm. market, yeah. market women, mm. then you, you need to, to go on as you who has the information mm. about the digital mm. presence. Mm. Look for those apps mm. that okay. will help, help these women yes. either sell beyond mm. their location yes. and uh, yeah. you're helping them acquire the information yeah. and mm. then getting mm. market because mm -hmm. believe it or not, they are, we are going to... Um, the lockdown taught us that you can even do business Online. beyond yes. Yes. your location. So mm. if we are looking, that is what, one thing that we need to know that if you are talking about them, online mm -hmm. presence mm -hmm. it is beyond mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. the social mm -hmm. interactions mm -hmm. we look at purchasing mm -hmm. running our accounts the mm -hmm. finances yeah but i think uh trisha uh thank god we are all i, I should i should say city city <laughs> leaders and i like it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but broadly if we mm -hmm. talk about the country, the country at, at, large, at large i think we uh, go, our government still has a lot to do mm -hmm. with improving mm -hmm. such facilities because mm -hmm. you see many people many the women that can't access there are internet. areas without uh, there is internet failure there are power issues mm -hmm. okay? If if vote even affordability, if, yeah, affordability of a phone. if vote gave us whom they trained mm -hmm. the power bank and yet we in the city here mm -hmm. <laughs> how about 
for those who are what? But of who less. are up country. So mm. yes, there is solar, but I mm. think the cost mm. is still Affordable. an issue. Mm. So we need to see how do we reach out to other areas, areas. that are out, especially in the rural. Mm, I hear you. Uh, on the issue of affordability, I, I've seen companies like telecom companies mm. that mm. give out gadgets on, on a credit. On credit. But mm. it, it, it also needs to be regulated because mm. the, mm. uh, uh, the interest rate is high. high. You mm. look at uh, either a local leader deep in the village would want mm. to Maybe he has had information from me, the mm, city leader, yeah. that that he he or she would want to acquire a smartphone. But mm. when you look at the interest rate that these companies are giving, so by the time you phones, finish the phone, yeah. you're really really exhausted you're running financially. Home. Yes, mm. so mm. I, I, it goes back to the government. Mm -hmm. then. Mm. I know. How do we make it affordable for our citizens to acquire to acquire smartphones, and internet, to afford internet? And the cost of data. I hear you. Yet the Pain. cost of living itself is it's also so, so hard. hard. <laughs> and I want us to paint the future mm -hmm. of online. Yes. You know what does the future really look like? Mm -hmm. um, I'm positive that um, we shall have a lot of changes in the way we do things, mm -hmm. especially in politics and business. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we've seen a lot change. Um, now I don't have to rent a shop. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometime I need to mm -hmm. just be on my phone mm -hmm. and get clients mm -hmm. and sell. So it saves me the rent. Mm -hmm. So life, I think, is going to be easier. Uh, yeah, but we have to work for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to it do something. It's not something that, not something that you work to be done. done. Yes, yeah. there's work to be done. Yeah. As you said, the government has to do something about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of youth, uh, I know that uh, during COVID, we were having online classes. But when that went out now, mm -hmm. it's hard for a parent to buy a, a, a phone yeah. for, for the yeah. kids. So yeah. the parents also have to know that these kids, the future is, is being mm -hmm. IT mm -hmm. compliant. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking for jobs here and there, they can do business on their phones. Yeah. So there is a lot in the messages we pass out. The communication, the ministry in, in charge of ICT has to have a budget yes. and plan for the entire country, yes. not only to concentrate here. Yeah. Because in the I know, yeah, they are mm -hmm. doing regulatory role most, but how about investing in the people? Mm -hmm. in, yeah. By the Facebook yeah. is still closed in your Facebook Uganda. Facebook is still closed. Yeah. Yeah. Way. <laughs> the future yeah. for us, yeah, Facebook is still closed. Yeah. And yet we are using uh, it. Sure, a lot of us are using it, um, which is not right for. Mm -hmm. We need to move along with what government says. Mm -hmm. But uh, they need to see how to regulate. Because mm -hmm. blocking is not the solution. Yeah, Very many people are using it using VPN. The, the goods of using Facebook mm -hmm. are far much more than, than the, the little yes, things that yes. make us run away from it or the reasons as to why it should be blocked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. The future. Wow. The future. I'm seeing a lot of opportunities. Then because I, I'll hit the, the recent campaign that is almost running every week on yeah. Twitter. We've we had, had the that portal. Now we have vision, the health. health healthcare mm -hmm. exhibition. So I think there are a lot of things that we are going to achieve as a generation mm -hmm. using the yeah. digital platform. Mm -hmm. But we need to be very careful mm -hmm. on what we, we, the content we share and mm -hmm. what we take in as people that per mm -hmm. by purchase the information that mm -hmm. is on these platforms. Mm -hmm. So opportunities are there. As my sure. colleague has said that we are in an era where we are not, we, it is not mandatory that you have to own a shop, a store. Mm -hmm. Literally, you can do business at your home in the in your set of living. Mm -hmm. So opportunities is the key. Because mm -hmm. with opportunities, you can literally achieve and discover your capability as a person beyond your borders. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you again for joining me today. But then also for reminding me of the power of, you know, digital platforms and the future for women. Mm -hmm. And um, as, as, as I wound up, because this conversation needs to end, but not for forever. Please continue this conversation online. We're going to have this stream online on mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Yeah. Please do tap into this resource to understand, you know, what 
you know, this digital literacy and leveraging online platforms really, really means mm -hmm. for women leaders. I think from us here, I, I can only advocate for continued empowerment of women in leveraging digital tools. The Vote Women campaign continues because we need more women political leaders mm -hmm. at the forefront of decision making. And if it's going to take, you know, leveraging digital tools, then the work must be done. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Mm -hmm.